In my last project, I used lattice details to make two side panels for my new record player. In this clip, I'll go into greater detail on how I went about doing that. Let's get into it. After jointing, planing, and cutting the exterior pieces of the panels to size, I made sure to group and mark them A and B to mitigate confusion later. Then I cut out the small 8th inch splines. taking four of them and cutting mitered ends to length, so I could glue them to the top and bottom exterior panel pieces to make up for the eighth inch saw blade loss from earlier. While those glued, I cut the two inch exterior panel pieces that will be sandwiched between the top and bottom to help anchor the sides of the lattice. With all of the components cut to length, it was time to measure, mark, and cut the slots and lap joints for the lattice. To get seven splines placed, I made marks about one and three sixteenths of an inch apart, adding an eighth inch gap for the actual cut. Then, after setting the right blade height, I carefully cut out the anchor slots on the top, bottom, and side pieces. With those in place, I cut the splines to length. Two long pieces and seven short pieces per panel. To expedite the process and ensure mirrored cuts, I taped all like-sized pieces together before marking and cutting out the lap joints. Again, I carefully used the table saw to cut the lap joints, making sure that the blade height was half that of the splines. Once I had a good fit, I marked each piece to correspond with its placement to save frustration when it came time to glue. And after a quick dry fit, it was that time. To ensure a successful and stress-free glue up, I recommend a few things. Number one, practice your clamping strategy before you get out the glue. Number two, saran wrap your underlayment to avoid gluing the wrong things together. And number three, get a glue bot. I'll put a link in the description below. That thing is awesome. As with anything, my joints weren't perfect. So I allowed for glue to squeeze out that I then mixed with fine sawdust to hide any untidy seams. I then used coarse grit sandpaper to clean everything up. Voila! A fun, beautiful way to add a little bit of character. To check out the full build video, click the link in the top right. Thanks for watching. Want to see more? Have a suggestion? Like, subscribe, and comment below.